brothers and sisters the lord led me today to say a prayer against evil plants the bible says to be sober and vigilant because your adversary the devil roams around like a roaring lion seeking who he can devour hallelujah if you've ever looked into how lions hunt lions it's the lioness that hunts and the lions hunt in pride in a, in a pack that they call pride and the way that they hunt their prey is if you've seen if they seen a huge pack of gazelles they would surround them and what they'll do is they'll hide out so they can't see them and they'll roar into the ground until the ground begins to shake and vibrate and the gazelles will feel that vibration and the ones the gazelles that get afraid and veer off from the pack or that run away from the pack those are the ones that the lions will go and attack and so the bible says we should not be unaware of the devil's schemes his strategies his plans and one of his plans is to take people and isolate them there's a difference between isolation and being uh re recluse being there's a difference between isolation and sanctification sometimes we'll be called to spend time alone with god other times the enemies trying to trick people to get away from the body the bible says forsake not the fellowship of the brethren nor the meeting together as some of them do and even what we're doing right now is meeting together in the spirit as brothers and sisters in christ and the bible says anywhere where we come in agreement if two or more are gathered in agreement there he is in the midst of us the holy spirit is right here with us he'll never leave us or forsake us and so know the enemy he has plans he's strategizing day and night right and his plans are to try to keep you from knowing god and if you know god and you're born again then you've defeated one of the things he's trying to stop but once you get to know god he wants to keep you from being effective in the kingdom and he's gonna bring people in your life even to bring offense and he's also going to try to get you in fear and anything that brings fear is not from god the bible says and many of you know this first god hasn't given us a spirit of fear so we know fear is a spirit and it doesn't come from god but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind the bible says in the last days many will say uh to me it says in the last days many people are going to have a form of godliness but they're going to deny the power that would change them and so we want to operate in power we want to operate in love we want to have this sound mind this self-discipline in our lives and so we're going to pray into that for for you today and myself and so that we'll be more aware that god would even give us revelation on the attacks of the enemy and how he's trying to seek to devour us that we wouldn't be unaware of his schemes and so let's start off together let's put on the full armor of god let's put on the breastplate it says we put on the belt of truth the blessed prey the breastplate of righteousness we shod our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace we take unto us the helmet of salvation we take up the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and with it we demolish which is what we're doing this morning we're going to demolish every plan scheme plot trap trick of the enemy every snare of the enemy we're demolishing we're going to use the word of god as our sword to demolish the enemy this morning however 
Once we break the hold of the enemy and we come against his plans, we need the shield. It says, above all, take up the shield of faith wherewith you're able to quench the flaming fiery darts of the enemy. The flaming fiery darts may come from loved ones, relatives, employees. It's the enemy, not the person. It's the enemy working through people to hit you with these words. They get into your mind as thoughts. And if you, if you don't have faith in God's word, it can become a fiery dart. And the fieriness is the emotions where if someone says you're stupid, you know, a, a boss says you're stupid. Well, this is a fiery dart from the enemy. And so we know by faith that our wrestling match isn't with our boss who's saying we're stupid. Our wrestling match is with forces of darkness, principalities, powers, rulers, authorities, and spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Hallelujah. Our wrestling match isn't with the people. But it's with the darkness working through and in people to oppress them. And the more that they're oppressed, the more they begin to oppress others. And so we know that our weapon is faith, that we're to love the boss, that we're to love the boss and have faith in who God says we are. And we know in our spirit that we're the righteousness of God in Christ. We're seated in heavenly places with him that we're 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 dead on the cross we've reckoned ourselves our old life dead we've we've died to ourselves, and we come alive in christ and so the only thing we have in in us is goodness love faithfulness every fruit of the spirit love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control and it's in the love of god and in the truth that we can respond correctly and maybe even not say anything and maybe say wherever the spirit leads you and say well i appreciate you as a boss we're not doormats but we can love people even when they attack us and or we could even sometimes it may call to say hey you don't need to talk to people like this don't you know that god judges you for everything you do we're god's gonna lead us in whatever direction is needed for the moment the bible says my sheep hear my voice and that of no other do they follow and god always speaks to us through the scripture and so as we begin to consume on a daily basis the bread of life and we bury the word in our heart that we don't sin against god and we put all this goodness of god inside of us when the rubber hits the road and the ball says we're stupid we have every tool we need by faith in god's word to stop those arrows from taking place because that is a plan of the enemy to get us in offense paul said this i pray this is a prayer that paul prayed in the scriptures he says this i pray that your love that, that god's love may abound in your life more and more in knowledge and in all discernment that you would approve what's excellent and be sincere and without offense until the day of Christ, filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Christ Jesus unto the glory and praise of God. Hallelujah. What Paul was praying was a, a, a strategical prayer to block all the flaming fiery darts of the enemy. And Paul knew that offense was going to be one of the enemy's uh, tactics and he also knew that another tactic is this fear and this fear it he said it says perfect love cast out all fear and so paul prayed and this i pray that god's love so that love begins to cast out the fear you see this was strategical from paul and he also said that you would be without offense He's basically saying, I'm praying every plan of the enemy. All of these strategies will not work against you. And so I'm going to pray these prayers over you. And remember to keep up, keep up your shield. 
to stay grounded and rooted in God's word. And the offense comes always from an insecurity and the insecurity comes from lack of trusting in what God's word says about you. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood. You've been set apart for a purpose, a time, a season, a purpose, a reason. You've been appointed for such a time as this. You could have been born anywhere in the world at any time. But you are exactly where you're at at this point in time in history for a reason. God designed you. He knew you in your mother's womb. He knitted you together, fearfully and wonderfully made, created in his image, in his likeness. God has a good plan for your life, plans to prosper you, to give you hope in the future. You're his. You're his possession. You've been chosen to be adopted. You've been adopted into his kingdom. You are a child of God. You're his very own possession, cherished and loved and cared for. And so when you believe the scriptures and they become a part of your identity and who you are, the devil, he has no power against you. This is what the word says. He has no, no claims against you. There's nothing he can do to overtake the power of faith in God's word. This is your shield. Take it with you today. I'm putting my own on today, all the armor of God in Jesus' name. And so I'm going to pray for you. Father, we pray as Paul prayed. Father, this we pray that your love would abound in their life more and more in knowledge. Lord, that you would give them the knowledge of you. And in all discernment, Lord, that you would give them this discerning spirit as your, as your word says, Lord, that your word is quick and active and powerful and sharp and it pierces even to the dividing of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and it's a discerner of the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. Well, Father, I pray that your word would become a discerner for them for each of us. May your word be a discerner for us this year, this week, as we navigate the rough terrains of life, that your love would abound in their life more and more in knowledge and in all discernment, that they would approve things that are excellent, Lord, that they would know and be sincere without offense until the day of Christ, filled with all the fruits, that your fruits would be in their finances in their relationship, in their home, Lord, even when they're under attack by friends, family members, co-workers, that the fruits of God would just begin to come out of their pores, come out of their person, that it would begin to, to just come out of their belly as this river of living water, Lord, that all the goodness of God would begin to, to just seep out of them goodness, kindness, grace, mercy, and favor, we pray over their life. Lord, we thank you for blessing the work of their hands, for blessing their mind, for filling them up with love today. We pray for grace for them today. Lord, we thank you for a hunger and thirst for your word and for your righteousness. And Lord, right now we just bind every evil plan and plot and scheme and tactic and trick anything anywhere where the enemies tried to come in one way i pray father where the enemies come in one way that he would flee in seven ways i pray that no weapon formed against you would prosper that every tongue that would set out to rise against you in judgment we say it's been condemned today hallelujah we thank you that all the plans of the enemy would be destroyed in the spirit realm sometimes the enemies and people in witchcraft in the occult they'll put out these contracts they'll they'll write things up in the spirit every evil contract covenant hex vex spell anything done in darkness i pray that all of these things even now would begin to dissipate by fire evaporate disappear that the covenants would be destroyed disannulled removed dissolved that every wickedness would flee that every lie would go, that every spirit of fear would be bound by the power and love of God, for the love of God would begin to enter their life, even right now, Lord, that the love of God would begin to enter the home, that every spirit of fear 
would be cast out for perfect love according to the scriptures we take up our sword by the sword of our mouth we command every spirit of fear to be removed that the perfect love of God would begin to take residence in our bodies that it would quicken us in our spirit in our thoughts in our emotions in the way we act and react that we would walk by faith and not by fear that we would walk by faith and not by feelings that we would walk by faith in the finished work of the cross and what Jesus has said about us Lord we thank you that you have designed them for a reason and that every plan of the enemy would come to naught where the enemy set a trap for their feet Lord may he be ensnared in his own trap Lord where he's dug a pit for them may he fall into his own pit today in Jesus name and in the spirit I seen the enemy for somebody he had dug a pit out for you and he's falling into his own pit today he's being ensnared in his own trap and none of his weapons uh, that's been formed against you they're all considered powerless the Bible says we overcome Satan by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony as we love not our life unto death for the Lord is for this body and this body is for the Lord hallelujah our bodies are instruments of righteousness yielded to God for his glory and his service and the devil has no place in your life anymore no power over you today all the power has been all of it's been settled by the blood of Jesus Christ the power is in the blood and we release the blood of Jesus into your home Lord over the doorpost of their home just like the children of Israel painted painted the blood of a lamb over the doorpost and the angel of death he couldn't come into their house well Lord we paint the blood of Jesus over the temple of God their body we paint the blood of Jesus over their homes and we say that the angel of death Yes every demonic spirit will not be able to enter their homes just as you put a wall of fire around Jerusalem I pray a wall of fire begin to just form around their property lines around their mind around their emotion I pray for a fire to be kindled in their belly Lord I pray you for an I pray for an all-consuming fire to begin to consume and burn up every chaff every fear every worry every anxiety the word says to to not do not be afraid this is what he commanded joshua he said have i not commanded you be strong and courageous what the lord is saying to you today be strong and courageous stand and do all you can to stand and stand therefore with the truth of god wrapped firmly around you holding all the armor in place as a roman soldier the belt was what actually kept the armor together it's what brought everything together the truth of god it's in his word jesus is the truth jesus said i am the way the truth and the life and no one comes to the father except by me the truth is a person he said jesus said it's good that i go because i'm sending the comforter the spirit of truth and he will lead you into all truth and he will teach you about me there's a spirit the holy spirit the spirit of truth that will teach you about the truth that will teach you about christ and the bible says the word of god is the truth sanctify me with your word your word is truth and in the word of god it it's a it's it's a truth it's the truth that's the discerner and it discerns even the most innermost parts of our body and it also sanctifies us uh, it says in the scripture wash me with the water of your word it'll wash out every evil thing every wickedness father i pray that the word of god begin to wash away every impure thing in their life everywhere where the enemy has a foothold just know the that 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 uh the devil's plan also for you is condemnation and i believe this is for somebody specific that you're starting to feel condemned that the enemy starting to make you when you fall he's starting to make you feel condemned and get into works and try to earn a relationship with god well the bible says the righteous person falls seven times but he gets up however the wicked are destroyed when calamity strikes jesus said i didn't come into the world to condemn it 
but I came in the world that the world through me might be saved. Did anyone that believes upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and what was done on the cross and confesses with their mouth, their sozo, saved, healed, delivered, set free, restored. And so God didn't come to condemn you, but he came to save you. And if you've been born of God, the Bible says there's no condemnation in Christ. There is condemnation. In, in another sense, it goes on to say in the scripture, but this is the condemnation that people loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. But brothers and sisters, if you're on this call today, it's because you do not love darkness, but you're seeking first God. You're seeking first his kingdom. You're seeking first his righteousness. And just know the righteousness of God is not by works, but by faith. At least anyone should boast. It's a gift from God. It's the grace of God that allows you to keep getting up. The Bible says the righteous person falls seven times. Seven is a number for completeness in the scriptures. You might completely fail over and over and over again, but always get up. You know, repentance is a lifestyle of walking away from sin, but you're going to fall many times in many different ways. And the level of sin is going to change and the things you're falling into might change. It might be bad thinking habits. You know, it might be alcohol when you're first getting saved and then you you graduate from that and then it's just these bad you know eating habits and then maybe it's different mindsets or maybe reaction out of anger or different things or not loving or saying the right things there's always going to be a falling so you have to develop in this way always get up remember a righteous person gets up that's what makes you righteous love not works loving not the the things of the world and loving God, loving the truth. For they had not a, a love for the truth, but you have a love for the truth, a love for God, a love for righteousness, wanting to do the right thing. Just com continue to get up. Don't let the devil's plans to bring condemnation. Condemnation takes you away from God. Conviction says, I'm going to get up and I'm not going to walk in this again. I'm going to get up and I'm going to structure my life differently so that I don't fall into the same thing. And that's a process. It's called sanctification. Hallelujah. Well, Lord, we thank you for each person in the process of sanctification. And we break every spell, every curse that's been over their mind. Anywhere where the enemies come to steal, to steal or to destroy. We proclaim life and life more abundantly for each person today. The devil's plan to kill is destroyed today. The devil's plan to steal. The Bible says when the thief is caught, when well, we've caught the thief today, that he would return sevenfold uh, what was stolen. Well, Lord, we thank you for a sevenfold return. By faith, we receive a sevenfold return. And we ask that you vindicate us according to your son, according to your righteousness, which is imputed to us by faith. For we walk by faith and not by sight. We focus not on the things that we see, but the things that we can't see. Because the things we see are temporal, but the things we can't see are eternal. We set our mind and our thoughts on heavenly things, on the things above and not on things of this world. Lord, even today, we recommit our life. We lay up for ourselves treasure in heaven where moths and rust don't corrupt, nor thieves break in and steal. Lord, we don't lay up for ourselves treasure on earth. And we thank you, Father, that every plan of the enemy to steal, Lord, would be brought to naught and that he would return sevenfold what was stolen. In fact, Lord, we rebuke the canker worm, the caterpillar, the locust, anything that would seek to eat up God's provision for their life. Lord, anywhere where you've given them provision and these demonic beings have come to eat up that provision, we rebuke every evil spirit of locust, caterpillar, Lord, even the canker worm, the every, every evil, evil insect, Lord, every evil insect, may it be destroyed by the power of God and may it return everything 
that was destroyed everything where the enemies just brought destruction lord everywhere where it came to eat up that harvest lord we thank you for a sevenfold increase in the harvest of their life in jesus mighty name lord we come against every python and boa constrictor spirit any any demonic snake or serpent that would try to 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 uh, squeeze out their prayer life and keep them from the prayer room lord we rebuke the serpent we trample on the lion and the cobra the fierce lion and the serpent we trotting underfoot for today we make the lord our refuge and even the most high our dwelling no disaster will come near us no harm will come near the home for the lord has sent his angels even now charge over us keeping us in all of our ways taking us into the place that he's prepared for us a good place of brooks and streams of mountains and valleys a place flowing with milk and honey we're like goodly vines for his grace has planted us by a good soil by a great water that we will bear fruit in our season and whatsoever we do will prosper hallelujah we thank you for prospering them blessing the work of their hands blessing the fruit of their body we break off every curse that has come in over their life anything through the generations or the bloodline we receive the blood of jesus for their life and we command every plan of the enemy to be destroyed against their life Lord, we command every evil plot of the enemy to be destroyed. And we give you praise, Lord, for the victory is yours. And as it says in the scripture, as you did for King Jehoshaphat, and he sent forth in the army he asked for help he said there's no one like you to help the powerless against the mighty in your name we come against these vast armies well lord as brothers and sisters in christ we come into agreement today that it's in your name we come against these vast armies and we ask for your help lord that you would even begin to prepare your bow make ready your arrow sharpen your axe and pour out your wrath on these demonic spirits that have set out these plans against us and these plots against us that all of these plans would be canceled and and just as you did for king jehoshaphat as he began to praise and worship you father you went before him and it says you caused his enemies to be confused and they began in in their confusion they began destroying and devouring one another i play the same plan uh, uh this same strategy from heaven be played out in our life today that you begin to bring confusion in the enemy's camp Lord, that all the darkness that has tried to come against us would be there would be confusion would be their table and they would begin to destroy and devour one another we thank you that you are our strength and our shield our ever-present help in time of trouble we just praise the lord today just as king jehoshaphat and we receive the victory through praise prayer and proclamation and father we thank you today lord that you are our strength our shield our ever-present help in time of trouble lord you are a refuge our strong cold lord you are everything that we need for life and godly living you've given us all things everything we need all sufficiency in our home our family our marriage lord you've given us wisdom and might and it's you who you who own wisdom and might you change the times and the seasons you remove the kings and you raise up kings you give wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding you reveal deep and secret things for you know what's in the darkness and the light dwells in you it's your kingdom that's an everlasting kingdom and your dominion that's from generation to generation may all the inhabitants of the earth be reputed as nothing for you do according to your will in the armies of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth and no one can restrain your hand or say to you what have you done lord you made the heavens and even the highest heavens and all the starry hosts the earth and all that is on it the seas and all that is in them the multitudes a heaven worship you there's no one like you in all the earth for when you speak it's done hallelujah well lord we thank you for the victory is in the lord today 
Lord, we're more than conquerors in Christ, a head and not a tail, above and not beneath, seated in heavenly places with you. And so, Lord, we thank you for a mighty victory for the kingdom of God, that every plan and tactic and scheme and trick and plot, Lord, everywhere where the enemies come in, Lord, all of it, we thank you that it's been destroyed. Every stronghold of the enemy torn down. For you are mighty for tearing down strongholds. And so we thank you for tearing down every stronghold and fortress of the enemy, even in the mind and the emotions. We thank you for a supernatural victory. And we declare victory for the kingdom of God over each person's life today. And we come in agreement with your word. We will hold up the shield of faith wherewith we'll quench every flaming fiery dart of the enemy. And we'll continue steadfast immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, may the Lord bless you today. If this video blessed you and you come in agreement with this video, like the video and let me know that you agree and comment in the at the bottom and say that, that I'm going to hold up my shield of faith. I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. The victory is mine in Jesus' mighty name because the Lord has won my battle. Hallelujah. The, the Lord has won your battle today in Jesus' mighty name. Victory for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Victory for the kingdom of God today. I received that for my life. And if you received that, let me know. Hallelujah. God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon. Amen and amen. <music>